Sony plug. For those of you that have never met me before, my name is Brandon No D. That's right, there is no D in this name. And I love to do tech reviews, camera gear, vlogs, hell, you name it, I'll review it. If any of that seems to spark your interest, I encourage you, no, actually I dare you, hit my subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all, and I will be sure to promise you good quality and honest reviews. Guys, it is awesome to be back in the seat again for the weekend. It is a Sunday and it's kind of drizzly here in Michigan. Uh, hazy, not real cold, but rainy. And you guys will see that a little later when I take this outside and show you some shots. Uh, also, first and foremost, if you hear giggling next door, my daughter and her girlfriend are here. They spent the night and yeah, you know how that goes. Teenagers. All right. So I am super stoked to see. I am super stoked to bring you this Rhino slide. Look at this thing, guys. This thing is cool and I am so glad to bring it to you. All right, let's get this off my chest right off the bat. Rhino did not reach out to me. Aww. However, however, I reached out to them. I showed them my channel. I told them I was very interested in using one of their products to show off my products. I was really happy to know that they get bombarded with other creators trying to get a hold of their products and partner with them. And they actually gave me a shot. They gave me a shot at the Rhino Rove Pro. That's right, this is the ROV Pro. And they asked me if I wanted the 16 inch or the eight inch. I went with the 16 inch only because I wanted that little extra travel and I will show you guys that in just a second. Uh, but first, let's go over what comes in the box. And right off the bat, you'll get this accordion style pamphlet that folds out. And it's pretty cool. It's in full color, full detail, and it explains everything you need to know and how to operate this beauty. They also give you a micro USB charger. Yes, unfortunately, folks, it is a micro USB. I really wish it was USB type C. But again, this slider is, um, it's been out for a while. So I'm sure on their next updated version, it will probably most likely be a type C. I can almost guarantee that. Then you get your ball head mount. And not only did they give you a ball head mount, you guys also saw on the box. That's right, you also get the phone mount. And I'm gonna show you how both work. So relax, we'll get there. Now, before I actually show you how to use the ball mount, let me tell you how you get this little quick release apparatus off. 
it took me forever to figure it out. I'm like trying to unscrew it. I'm pushing the button, nothing's happening. Guess what guys? It's extremely simple. But once you push this release in, it doesn't screw or turn, it actually slides out. So then you take it, put it on the bottom of your camera and screw it right down on your quarter 20. Then once you lock it down, you just flip this out of the way. Works perfectly. Then you're able to lock it in. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the actual slider itself before we put any of the ball mounts on it. It is extremely built well with uh, all metal casting on the outside. Now, of course, the uh, carriage is made of plastic, very easy to use. It has flip out feet if you wanna elevate yourself. Now there's a very large rubberized button. And if you push it really quick, it's gonna give you the remaining battery life on it. Or if you press and hold it, it's going to turn blue, turn the carriage on and bring the carriage home. And that is it. So it's loaded and ready to go. And then what you wanna do is download the ROV app from Rhino and good news for all you Android users like myself, the app does work for this Rhino now as well as the iOS. So you go ahead and hit the ROV app. Now you have a time-lapse option or you have the video option, which we're gonna use right now. So we click on the video and it connects right away. And now you have a very simple app to use, extremely easy. You have your ramp and your duration, very simple. So when the slider moves from point A to point B, you don't want it to just boom, hit the end and crash. You want it to gradually slide over and that is your ramp speed. And then you have your duration, which you can set how fast you want your slider to run and how slow you want it to run. And then they also have what they call a loop on or off. That's pretty cool. You can loop it back and forth. And then you have move to end or move to home. And that is where you want it to start. We'll leave it at 50% right now and 35 on the duration. So there you are. It's going to go all the way to the end and stop. And then there's your 50% ramp. See how it slows down just before it gets to the end. Nice feature about this is it's very light, very versatile, and you can get really low on your shots. So it's gonna be great for people that are doing product shots, food shots, things like that. That tasty B-roll that just adds a little seasoning to your videos. On the bottom, you have four rubber feet, so it's really nice and grippy when you put it down on the table. But you also have these kickstands, I like to call them, or feet, whatever you wanna call it. And it has a little dial of where you want to mark them that way when you pull up feet they'll both be even and you won't be all lopsided when you set it down but pretty cool nonetheless all right let's nerd out just for a quick second and go over a few of the specs that i know you guys are going to be interested to know about number one you have 24 hours of battery usage on this unit which is fantastic you can get 24 hours of runtime However, it takes three to four hours to charge it fully. The payload on the carriage itself is five pounds, so it's going to easily hold my Sony a7C or even my Sony a7S III without a problem. Of course, you don't want to throw a red on here, but it will hold up to five pounds, plenty. Now it comes with a male 3 8 adapter and you can... I need my own place away from home. It's hard to do videos at home when you got activities going around you. I mean, it's Sunday, cleaning going on. I mean, the wife's always busy, but the noise, oh my God, the noise. Okay, let's try to get through this. So although you get a 3 8 adapter for your ball mount, but if you wanna use your own ball head, let's say like these awesome man Frodo's, Oh, don't worry. I'll be sure to leave you guys affiliate links down in the description below on all the equipment used in today's review. But yes, this is a very nice ball mount, very expensive, but works awesome. I love the quick release on these. And yes, you can use this even though it has a dish. This is the problem. You can't just mount it straight down. You may have to purchase a few accessories, but believe me, it'll be worth it in the long run if you wanna use your own ball mounts. So you pick yourself up one of these light stand adapters. It's a 3 8 to a quarter 20. Because I have a quarter 20 on the bottom of this, or I can go 3 8 either way, but uh, I have the quarter 20 on right now. So I picked up one of these quarter 20 by quarter 20, and you just take the light stand adapter, screw it into that, 
And then you take your ball mount, screw it into here. So now you have yourself an extension that will go on the unit and Bob's your uncle. There you go. So yes, you can use your own mounts, but unfortunately they dished it out to where this ball mount fits in perfectly with that small skinny neck and it's able to fit down inside. And that's why they pretty much want you to use their adapter because the payload. Again, this is a heavier mount than this lightweight mount. And I found using this mount works absolutely fine, especially with my A7C. It's already a light camera with a light lens on it anyway. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and hit the time lapse. And now you're greeted with this really sweet options for shutter speed, clip length, duration. It'll all break it down for you. Of course, you get your shutter cable that you'll plug in to this, sold separately, mind you, to your camera, and then you can get some really sweet time lapse. Now, I don't really do any time lapse. In fact, you've never seen a time lapse on my reviews. I need to start doing that because it's really fun and it makes really cool B-roll, so. All right, so I have set up a couple of figurines to show you guys on, let's say, practicing with some products that you want to review. And like I do on my reviews all the time is earbuds and headphones and camera gear stuff. And you want that beautiful sliding footage to show off your product and like I say, add pizzazz to your videos. So looking at these two figurines that I put out here, when you use just the feet on these, you're gonna get nice and low on your shots. And that's what you want. You want to be able to get in there, get personal with the product, get it up close to the lens. It just looks so much more crispier and clean. Also with the kickstands on each side, makes it really nice to be able to set it up on maybe some unlevel surface, level surfaces, get you elevated to get that second shot that just looks primo. Now, although this is a very simple slider, it just goes back and forth and that's it. There is no pan or tilt. However, if you find it affordable, you can pick yourself up a Manfrotto floating head and now you have created what I like to call pan and tilt. You're gonna do it manually, of course, so you have to have a steady hand, but look at these shots that you can get that look so much better. It adds two more views to your shots, which is really gonna keep your audience intrigued and interested in what you're trying to show them. I mean, how often can you get that perfect shot of your cat, Skylar? I mean, look at her, she looks so majestic. And she's on my damn computer too. Now again, this is going to be fantastic for using outside and there's also an accessory that you can get which is their backpack system for this that will keep this nice and uh, protected and it'll also keep your accessories all tucked away nice and neatly inside. Now unfortunately it's a rainy crappy day like I mentioned earlier but I did get my ass out there for you guys just to have an idea of what you can do with this. So it just gives you a better shot with the foreground and the background and something moving. It just looks so cinematic and that is exactly what this tool is designed to do. Now for those that don't own an expensive camera, fear not, they definitely have you covered with their mobile phone adapter. And let me tell you, this little thing is neat. Now they do sell a slider, which is called their mobile, which is only for mobile phones, but then they have the pro, which we picked up here, and then you get both the ball head for the camera and your phone mount. So I think it's better to get this package versus the mobile because you may not have a professional camera now, but you're gonna probably get one in the future if you keep up with what this does. All right, guys, it comes down to this. Would Brannon recommend you the Rhino ROV Pro Slide? Now, although I am not sponsored or endorsed by any means through Rhino, I merely asked them to send me their product they accepted in return to give you guys an honest review. And that's exactly what I intended on doing today. So that being said, as far as me recommending it, absolutely I would. And I've got some outstanding news. I just looked it up on Rhino's website and they are selling the eight inch package with the case included 
30% off, a savings of $144, $336, guys. That's a steal. Now, if you go for the 16 inch like I did, it's the Traveler. However, you don't get the case, but they are also 30% off with $135 savings, $315, guys. You cannot beat that for a pro slider. I don't care where you look, how you get it. Well, unless you steal it, of course. But I'm telling you, that is a steal without stealing it. So, of course, if you have any questions whatsoever on today's review, on sliders, even questions that don't even pertain to me, drop me a comment down below and I will most certainly try to get back to you as soon as possible. Well, guys, with every review, you know what time it is. That's right. It's time for yours truly, a fortune cookie. All right, let's see the future. What does my future hold? Tomorrow you will find the item you have been searching for. I'm trying to think of any items that I've been searching for. Huh. Well guys, don't forget to like and share the video as it helps my channel grow tremendously. And you guys know, oh hell, you guys know, I'll be seeing you in my next 